Hey guys, welcome back to my beef farm. And today we have a little problem. Um, with the last Minecraft update, Buildcraft pipes no longer feed into alvearies. Um, let me show you. You can see here, there's lots of bees, queens and drones, but the alveary still stays empty. Um, it doesn't matter what you do. I've tried feeding them in from the side, from the top, everywhere. Uh, nothing helps. But I did come up with a solution. Let me show you. Let's just fly over to make it quicker here. And here we go. Um, these guys. Pneumatic tubes. Uh, you need a sorting machine. And uh, pneumatic tubes. And a bit of paint. Um, oh, by the way, that sorting machine is powered by a solar panel. Um, these are the inexpensive ones. They're very easy to make and uh, some blue alloy wire as well. You just need one piece. Uh, let me show you. Oh, and you will need two chests as well. Uh, one for extra drones and one for your honeycombs. Um, other than that, everything's the same. You can get away with one chest as well but everything just gets mashed inside. So if you wanted to separate honeycombs out to process later, uh, you couldn't do it. You'd have to use another filter of some type. Um, steadfast drones in this one. Okay, first thing we need to do is take out this broken one. And uh, I'll do this off camera. I'll be right back. Okay, we got everything all cleaned up here. Um, I went ahead and filled in the holes that the buildcraft pipes used to be in. And as well, I removed the heaters and fans. Um, I just don't use them that much. I did, however, leave a swarmer. Um, I will be using that. Okay, let's take a look at the parts we're going to need. First, the sorting machine. It's the heart of the system right here. We'll get that ready to go. Uh, some pneumatic tubing. Uh, this project's going to use 16. Yours might be a little bit more or a little bit less. Uh, blue alloy wire. And one solar panel. Um, these are the inexpensive solar panels to make. Uh, just a blue doped wafer and a blue alloy ingot. Uh, you make both of these using an alloy furnace. Uh, pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. Um, I'm going to use a couple of chests as well. Both are going to be iron in my case. And some paint. Um, if you want to use the swarmer, you'll need a fourth paint color. Otherwise, you can just use three. Uh, I'll be using the four, though. And we'll get that ready to go. Okay. Uh, this is pretty easy to make as well. I was surprised. Uh, you can see it's just flaxseed, and the paint can is just tin plate. Um, this tin plate is made in an alloy furnace. It's just some tin and some iron, and it gives you your plates pretty easy to do. Um, I have the swarmer, so I will need one royal jelly drop to get things started. And as well, you're going to need two princesses and two drones of whatever type you use, uh, whatever type you prefer. Uh, they'll both be imperial in my case, and we'll get those two ready to go. Okay, let's get started. Um, the most important part of this project is the way you're facing. Um, you can see on my mini map here, I'm facing towards the top of it, towards the top of the map. Um, we'll call that north. Uh, you can see the sun rises here in the east and sets in the west. So that makes this north. Uh, that's important. The drones have to be fed into your alveary from the north side. And as well, the princesses from your west side. I've tried it a few different ways and this is the only way I can get it to work, okay? Also, any items in your alveary have to be pulled out through the bottom uh, with the sorting machine here. So that makes it kind of tricky to place. Uh, the easiest way to do it is from the top and up against a block. If I can do this, there we go. There we go, just like that. Um, I want your output to be at the bottom here, that little black hole. Okay, pretty straightforward stuff. 
Uh, I'm also going to get my chest ready to go here. All right. Some tubing. And I want to label these now while I have easy access. Uh, let me see. Red is going to be for drones. White is going to be for honeycombs. Okay. Now, some tubing for our drones. It's going to be red. And this is really easy to do. You just right click with whichever paintbrush you're using and it'll paint that tube that color. Uh, princesses are going to be blue. Okay. And we can get down underneath here. Now, for my swarmer, I want to make that yellow. Get my yellow brush handy here. There we go. Hey, how come these two didn't paint? They did. Okay, good. Now we just connect all our pipes. Pretty easy. They connect to the sorting machine. And let me see here. Yeah, we'll go this way. Connect there. And connect there. Nothing to it. That's it. That's all there is to that part. Uh, we do need to power that sorting machine, though. And, of course, place our chest down. There we go. Now, to power this sorting machine... It just takes one solar panel. It's not too bad. We'll have to build a little shelf for it, so bear with me. And that should do it. Okay, back up again. Sorry if I'm bouncing around so much, but it's part of the project. Okay. Get our alloy wire in. And our solar panel. You see, they connect up by themselves. Pretty easy. And this will charge real slow. Um, you can put in more solar panels if you want to, but it's really not necessary. Uh, one does the job just fine. Keeps this unit going very easily. Okay. And that's it, guys. That's all there is to it. Now, the only part left is to program this. I'm going to set this icon to that recirculating icon type there. And this lower one to there. Now, this is going to be for our honeycomb. And if you recall, that was white. Oops, there we go. And I'll do the drones next. The drones, I wanted red. Princesses, I wanted those blue. Oops, there we go. And our royal jelly, well, we made that one yellow. We'll set this one to yellow. And there we go. That's it. 100% complete. This will take just a few minutes to charge up and you'll be ready to go. While we're waiting, we can get these going. And that's good to go. And there you have it, guys. This unit is complete. Any royal jelly it produces will be fed into the swarmer. Any honeycombs will go into this chest. Any extra drones will go into this chest. And let me show you how this works so we can get one of these running. Hopefully we can see. No, that one's not ready to go. Ah, you just missed this one. Uh, trust me, guys. The system works really well. Um, the alveary will hold all your extra drones before it starts to dump them into the extra chests here. So that's normal. And uh, after that, there's no maintenance at all to this project. It's easy, easy, easy. Okay. Let's 
double check in here. That's it. One last look underneath. Everything's labeled. Everything's connected. There we go. Royal Jelly being fed up. Your drones and princesses will do the exact same thing as well as the honeycombs. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope you can use this in your project and I hope you liked it. Take care.